guys give us the coolest slime ideas. So today, I'm gonna make them a reality. First up, we got May and Mackenzie slimes. These sisters sent us two ideas and we're gonna make them both. For the first one, we're doing a Hello Kitty slime. And we've never made a Hello Kitty slime here at Peachy Babies, so today's the day. This is a two-part slime with snow fizz at the top and pink bingzu at the bottom. And it's also a clay kit, so we're gonna have to make a really cute Hello Kitty clay. So first, let's go get our slime bases. I think that this texture combination is honestly brilliant. Bingzu and Snow Fizz together make for some great ASMR because they're both super crispy. And I love that Bingzu has kind of those like sparkles, so I think it's really gonna make the slime pop. Mayor McKenzie, whoever came up with this idea, you know what you're doing. Now we gotta get the perfect pink. And I'd say neon bright pink gives Hello Kitty vibes. So the pink is gonna go on the Bingzu. And it looks like this is a very bright pink, so I'm gonna add a good amount, do like a little heart. We need to make sure it's super bright. And let's get a little bit of activator because this slime's a little underactivated right now. All right, we're gonna sprinkle some activator. Let's see if that helps the slime. I'm getting pretty good at color theory because we got the perfect color. Just look at that. So this is a two-part slime and this one is gonna go at the bottom. I'm gonna get my little container here, make sure it fits perfectly. And I'd say May was going for kind of like an ice cream vibe. We're just gonna use our snow fizz and leave it white and make that our topping. And now I'm gonna do a nice little swirl at the top, kind of make it look like an ice cream sundae. I think that's what she was going for. I think that it needs some sprinkles. Let's make a trip to Charmville. Luckily, I found the perfect red heart charms that match Hello Kitty's iconic red bow. Now for my favorite part, we're gonna be making a Hello Kitty clay. I kinda wanna make it like around this size to cover the top. This is a little clay kit after all. I'm gonna make her head about this big. I've wanted to make a Hello Kitty themed slime ever since I started working here at Peachy Babies and now I finally get the chance. So thank you, May or Mackenzie. All right guys, we have our cute little Hello Kitty head shape and now we're gonna start painting it. Here we have it guys, our Hello Kitty clay. I love how she came out. She's so detailed and super cute. And now we're gonna top it off on our slime. I'm gonna put it like right here in the center. There it is guys our Hello Kitty slime. I'd say that we nailed it based on the picture. And now we're gonna move on to the next one. May and Mackenzie, I hope you like your Hello Kitty slime. For this next one, Mayor Mackenzie, you are speaking my language with this Demon Slayer inspired slime. And this is my favorite character. So this is a two part, just like the last one. We're doing Cloud for the top. And it looks like you guys wanted a purple for the Bingzu. So let's go get our dye. So for this Bingzu, we're gonna go for a darker purple. So we're gonna add a good amount on here. That's good. And the top looks like it's gonna be a light purple. I really love the color scheme here. Our purple is done. And now for the cloud, we're gonna be doing kind of like a lavender color. So for this, we're gonna add a very little bit of purple, just a dot. You guys, I love creating your slime ideas and I honestly love the textures that you guys put together because these two are such good complementary textures. Good job on this texture combo. So now that our colors are done, we're gonna place the dark purple at the bottom. Give it a good little squish. Now we're gonna top it off with our cloud dough. This color looks just like our lavender cow slime. I think that slime has the best scent in the shop. Top it off with a good swirl. And of course, this isn't gonna be a Demon Slayer inspired slime without her iconic hairpin. So we're gonna be making that out of clay. Guys, it is my lucky day today. I didn't think that I would be coming into work and making a Hello Kitty slime and a Demon Slayer slime. Those are two of my favorite things. So thank you guys so much for your wonderful ideas. All right guys, there we have it. The beautiful clay hairpin. I'm so happy with how it turned out. It has like so many cute little details. I love making clay stuff. So if you have more clay ideas, please send them my way because I will do them. All right, let's top this off. There we have it. All right, May and Mackenzie, these are some great ideas. I hope you like your slime. And now let's move on to the next one. Up next, we have Charlie's idea. Charlie wants me to make like a twist slime with pineapples and strawberries. Those are two of my favorite fruits. So I think this is a brilliant idea. And they even drew really cute little sketches of the fixed spray. But first, we need to go get our base, which is 
cloud dough. I love the way that it drizzles. I think this is a beautiful texture, but we gotta get our dye. It looks like an orange, a red, and a pink. We got our dyes, let's start mixing. All right, Charlie, we got the three colors that you wanted. Now let's get that swirl action. We're gonna start off with our red. You know how we do it here at Peachy Babies. We make some really good swirls, but it has a special technique. We have to make sure they're all lined up in a perfect little square, and then we just flatten them out a little bit, get one giant colorful burrito, twirl this around just like that. I'm not gonna lie, guys, I'm not the best at twirls. So let's add it to our container, just like that. There we go, that's looking better. All right, there you go, Charlie. And now for the top, we're gonna get a little swirl. So that's what your sketch looked like. And now let's go get our pineapple and strawberry charms. All right, Charlie, I found the perfect little pineapple and strawberry charms. Now we're gonna place them on the top of our slime. I grabbed two strawberries. There we have it, our little pineapple strawberry smoothie slime. Charlie, I hope you like your slime. Let's move on to the next one. This next one is from Kingsley. Kingsley, you came up with a brilliant idea. It's called Peachy Pink Drink. It's a clear slime with cubes and with a little whipped cream on top. So let's go get some clear slime. All right, here's our clear slime. Here are our little cubes. So we're gonna start off by plopping down the clear slime on the table. It's a lot of slime. We're gonna dye this one peach. This is a peachy pink drink, so I'm also gonna get some pink dye. Do you guys ever think about dyeing? We're gonna add some pink. Now we're really getting that super rich peachy pink color. And Kingsley wants me to add cubes. We have our cubes right here. Just gonna add a ton of cubes and mix it into our slime. I love jelly cube slimes so much. They have like really good little squishy pops. And so this concept is perfect for a little drink inspired slime. There's our base. So Kingsley wants me to add a little whipped cream clay on top. So I'm just grabbing my clay here. I'm gonna roll it. Right now it looks like a little worm. We're gonna get our jelly cube slime put it in our container. I love that you chose a jelly cube slime for this. It's definitely one of the most fun textures. Now we're gonna get our little whipped cream. There we have it, our little whipped cream on our slime. You know what this slime reminds me of? Our key lime pie slime, which you can get at peachybabies.com. We restock every Friday at 7 p.m. and we have so many different slimes that you can choose from. I really believe there's a slime for everyone, so go check it out. And finally, Kingsley wants me to add a little straw because this is a drink, so let's go get a straw charm. All right, here we have our little straw. So let's put that right over here. And Kingsley, I'm going above and beyond. I found these beautiful little peach sprinkles. So I'm gonna add these on top too. And I even found this really cute peach drink charm. I'm gonna put that right over here. Here we have it, Kingsley, your very own peachy pink drink. I hope you like it. Now for the final and honestly, my favorite slime yet. This next one came all the way from the Netherlands. This note is from Adriel and we're doing a stitch slime. I already got our bases. We're gonna be doing a slime that is half clear and half icy and we're gonna dye it blue. Both parts are gonna be blue, but one is gonna be lighter than the other. So we're gonna be using sky blue food dye for our icy slime and our blue watercolor for our clear slime. Now I'm gonna be kind of mixing the icy with some blue dye and it looks like the icy is at the bottom so it's also going to be darker so we're going to give that a good mix i think this is the perfect shade of blue for the bottom of our slime and now for the watercolor i'm just going to be adding very little because it looks like a very light blue all right, we're gonna let that sit for a little bit and I'm gonna go get some flower charms because we have to get the perfect little Hawaiian flowers for this slime. All right, this is a two-part slime. We're gonna start off with the icy. And you guys are getting really creative with the different texture combos, guys. I love it. And now we're gonna add the clear. Yeah, this is really giving ocean vibes. Stitch lives by the beach after all, so it only makes sense. And I found the perfect little charms for this. So we have some little stars, and I also grabbed some blue hearts because that movie is about love at the end of the day. Let's add our little sprinkles. And this can't be a stitch slime without a stitch clay. Let's make a little cute stitch. We finished our little stitch. He's so, so cute. He looks like a little stuffed animal. And now we're gonna top it off with our little stitch. Adriel, I love the stitch idea. I put a lot of cute details and thought into it. So yeah, I hope you like it. All right guys, thank you so much for giving us these amazing slime ideas. Make sure to like this video if you wanna see another one of these. And if you send us a really good slime idea, it might be in the next video. Bye guys.